Sneakerheads around the world have been debating on which Ah My Air Jordan sneaker is the best from the set. And honestly, I'm having a hard time figuring it out right now. So I posted a poll here on YouTube to see what you guys think, and we had over 20,000 votes. I also reached out to some of your favorite sneaker content creators to see what they think as well. My favorite Ah My Minier sneaker has got to be the threes, and I'm actually wearing them today. I just happened to be wearing them, but I had all of them so far. I've sold all of the other ones because I didn't like them as much. The threes, goaded. Love these, best one. So I know it's been talked about a lot, man. I literally just had this conversation the other day. What's the best Air Jordan I'm on my year silhouette that has released so far? And you know, we got the ones, we got the twos, we got the threes and the fours this year. In my personal opinion, I got to keep it real with you guys. I have to go with the Air Jordan 4 I'm on my year. I think they made this colorway just pop a lot more than the other three silhouettes. And it's one of my favorite pickups this year, and I love them. In my opinion, the best I'm on my year Jordan is 1000% the Jordan 3. Check these out. These, they literally go with everything. This shoe literally reminds me of like a Bentley, dude. These are like luxury, fire. You can't go wrong. I, this is it for me. This is it. I had the other ones. I ended up selling them. This is the only one I kept. The Amamanier 3, best one, baby. I mean, look, look at that leather. Come on, it don't get much better than that. What's up, DJ? So out of all the Amamanier Jordans, I think the best one is the Jordan 4 because I'm currently doing a 30-day wear test on them and I'm literally wearing them every day and I love them. Otherwise, I think a close second is the Jordan 3. So we got a couple people saying the fours and a couple people saying the threes. And again, don't get me wrong, all of these shoes are clean, but I'm excited to see what the poll results say at the end of the video because I got a feeling it's gonna be a really, really close one when it comes to these two right here. But before we do all that, we gotta talk about the history and why we're even making this video in the first place. So for those that don't know, James Whitner is the creator and designer of the Ama Air Jordan collection and store. And with that, we have gotten this series of shoes over the past couple years now, creating a lot of hype behind their collaborations and we've seen other models like the airships and the air jordan 12 set to come out in the future but when it comes to actual jordan releases that have come out so far we have these four models right here we originally saw the air jordan 3 release and there was a lot of mayhem behind this shoe because it was a women's release but luckily it came out in extended sizes and allowed other people to still have their opportunity to get this shoe and i was a happy camper because i was able to get these two I ended up actually wearing these on my wedding day this shoe is covered in premium materials and i have done a full review on these in the past if you want to refer to that later the link will be down below in the description but here's a quick in-hand shot of the shoe just to give you guys a better look if you haven't seen these in person yet hopefully this gives you guys a better look at the shoe now looking at the air jordan 1 that's the next release that had came out and we saw this one right here and there was a lot of hype and anticipation behind the air jordan 1 which caused a good demand for this shoe but people were kind of surprised when they saw the resale value of this sneaker don't get me wrong it's still going for more than the retail value maybe around double that price but at the end of the day a lot more people thought these would be more expensive than they currently are again i have done a full extensive review on this sneaker as well in the past which i will have the link for you down below but basically these are covered in a cracked type leather all throughout the upper you got your brown hits through there and then you got that same type of quilted satin sock liner that you will see on all four of these models this shoe is very subtle but has a lot of details and a very clean shoe and easy to wear with a lot of different outfits so i could understand why this might be high on people's list but again this is tough competition right here next up right here we have the Ama Air Jordan 2 which came out this summer and this was a shoe that a lot of people were anticipating before when they saw the leaked images and we were saying you know this is the Air Jordan 2 year and a lot of the agenda behind it and there's a lot of people that still don't like the Air Jordan 2 so there's going to be a huge debate around this shoe and yes we've done a full review with comparisons and all those things as well on these if you want to check that out but overall I love this sneaker as you can see I've been wearing these I accidentally messed them up on the upper a little bit because my jeans kind of dyed it a little bit but either way I love this shoe I love rocking these right here definitely a nice addition to the collection I love the details on the midsole and you have very similar upper materials as you do as the Air Jordan 1 right here with that kind of cracked leather vibe and then the wax laces the premium hits and the all black sock liner definitely a very clean shoe and last but not least we have one of the considered to be sneakers of the year or most anticipated 
hated shoes of the year, the Air Jordan 4 I'm I'm in year. So these ones right here, these recently just came out a couple weeks ago. A lot of people have been going after them. I think the resale prices don't reflect as much of the demand, but we understand that the market is very interesting right now, so I can get that too. But either way, a lot of people are saying this is the best shoe from this whole set, and other people are saying this is the best shoe of the whole set when it comes to the threes and four. So that's kind of what rooted this video, and I wanted to make sure that you guys had good, in-depth, clean shots of the shoes so you can make your decisions down below in the comment section. And I'll make sure that I give you guys what I feel at the end of this video as well. But for right now, let's kick it over to some of the other creators and see what they think about these shoes. And then we gotta go ask my dad because I'm very interested to see what he says. All right, so what is good, everybody? It's your boy, B Bullet RC, back with yet another collab salute DJ Salute DNA show. Appreciate you for having me. Now, he did ask me, what is my favorite I'm on my year, Jordan? and why as far as retros go it's got to be the three followed by the four right here behind me then you got the one and the two i'm sorry to the two fans out there y'all get a lot of slander just jordan twos and general get a lot of slander but that would be my ranking and as far as why the three is number one first off it was the og as far as the retros go it was the og it's probably the most easy to wear too i mean the fours is not too bad but the threes is all white with the sail with the violet ore to me it's just the best one and it was the first one so if you ask me that's how i rank them y'all let me know down below in the comments salutes appreciate y'all i personally think that the best album on the air jordan is the air jordan 3 mainly because the colorway is sick but also because it's just one of the best jordan 3 collaborations in my opinion i know a lot of you guys will disagree with me on that but it's up there all right so these are the four sneakers from the ama collection everybody's been having the debate which one is the best out of this set what do you think well i'll tell you i like these and i like these but i'm i'm leaning to this the four the four i'm telling you the four is the shoe for me it's gonna be the shoe of the year you say the shoe of the year i'm still why do you think shoe of the year now you've seen all the shoes that came out we didn't sat down and talked oh, about sneakers everything like that you think this is the shoe of the year i said that <sighs> yes i think these is even better than the callets <laughs> so the materials and everything yes and it got the nice look at the inside everything what do you call that material on the inside it's like silk it's like silk it's like silk it's okay what butter. about the outside what do you call that material uh, that's butter that's butter okay you sound like Cali the way you describe the shoes <laughs> <laughs> okay, so everybody's been saying that the Jordan 3 is the best one because this is the first one that came out and it started everything for these shoes. And I know it. the greatest debate right here is between these two. Do you know what the percentages are? No, I don't. Okay, well, I'll tell you off camera because I'm about to tell everybody what the percentages are on which one is the best out of these four right here. What do you think is the ranking in order from best to worst out of these four? I would say this is going to be number one. Mm hmm. This is number two. Okay. This is three and that's four. Really? So the twos over the ones. Yeah. Two. You got this shoe. Yeah. You but, got this one. But why I'm saying that is because when you get to the more white like that, the that bright color on my size of 14 is gonna look even bigger. Right. So that's me on that. This material don't seem as nice as this material. Okay. Okay. Right. And so for me, it got the same sock liner. Everything else like that similar. But the material, I like this material better. Okay, so one, two, three, four, yeah. in that order. That's how you Yeah, in that order. All right, well, tell the people to subscribe, and we'll see you later. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're out. <laughs> All right, you guys, the results are in from the community post, and I wanted to see what you guys thought. We had over 20,000 people vote. I'm excited about this. I'm, I think we're gonna have to do more polls like this in the future because I think this is a great scale and representation of the sneaker community to say what they like the most. So to see that we had over 20,000 people in these votes was just super dope to me alone. And you guys might be interested by these poll results right here. So right now, when it comes to last place at 3%, we have the Air Jordan 2 Ah Mom and Year. So I'm sure everybody knew this one was gonna come in last place, but with only 3% vote, sheesh, I was thinking they would at least pass 5%. Like, you know what I'm saying? The shoe ain't that bad, but I get it. There were definitely three other great options on this list. And the next one, I thought, might have gone a little bit higher simply because we have so much demand around the model in general but it's kind of been slowly dying down over the past year so i get that as well and at 18 percent we have the ama air jordan one now these right here 
kind of makes sense. I was thinking maybe that 20, 25%, so it's a little bit lower. But again, I'm sure a lot of people were voting for the threes or the fours. So this one was a nail biter, you guys. Like, So coming in at third place right here with 38%, we have the Ama Air Jordan 4s. I'm sure a lot of people said this was best on their list, and I completely understand why something different, something we have never seen for an Air Jordan 4, for a collaboration type sneaker, or for a release that we've just seen that's not a PE or anything like that. So at the end of the day, it's a clean shoe, but we know it's number one. Let's talk about that shoe. With 40% of the vote, we have the Ama Air Jordan 3. Completely makes sense. I think every time it's an OG, I think Bull said that earlier too, but it's just naturally how it goes. But every time it's an OG or the first thing of something, it creates that kind of, that legendary sense behind it and it continues to have success. You see that always be the, the best one, the most expensive one, the most desired one, because that's the one that always is the one that started that fire. It's usually, it's pretty rare that you'll see like a sneaker come out after that. And then like that takes the throne. So this shoe, they just bodied the collaboration. The materials are A1. This one's a little bit different. I know the fours are different as well, but the ones and twos are really similar. But I think overall with this release, they just did a really, really good job. And again, like I said, I wore this sneaker to my wedding. I thought it was a great shoe. I love rocking this sneaker. I had to double up, honestly. <laughs> I doubled up on all these shoes from this set. So I got pairs that I rock and then pairs that I'm holding on to because I know I'm gonna be continually rocking them and I don't wanna mess them up and then not have another pair sitting on ice. So for me in particular, this whole set was a double up, but let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. What did you think about the votes? Did you participate in the vote? If you missed out, make sure you hit the community tab on the channel right here. You'll be able to see more votes in the future. And I'll try to get more of this stuff for you guys out. I appreciate you guys as always. See you in another one. Peace. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. What's good, y'all? So if you made it to the end of the video, comment down below what is your favorite Jordan model of all time. For me, it's easily the Jordan 4s.